Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. Well today is just a quick video to show you how I did the band-aid here with embossing folder with the Big Shot. This uh, little uh, recover uh, rapidly it's from the stamp set in celebration and it's the one called a uh, pattern yeah occasion so um, time it's limited to get this one if you want it it's a set of uh, five and it come with all those nice little design uh, the celebration will be done this Friday so that would be Friday the 22nd if you watch the video um, after the 22nd this stamp set will not be available but you still can make the band-aid so let's get started first thing that I did I took a piece of scrap paper in crumb cake and pass it in the polka dot uh, folder so you get this and then I did the same thing with the square lattice I took a piece of crumb cake pass it in the big shop now let me reach my dauber that I didn't get out. Here it is. Okay, we want my band-aid. It's three inch and one inch wide. You can do different size. This is the size that I did. So I'm gonna cut a piece from the polka dot, three by one. This is three wide. So let's do by one. Et voila. Now you're going to take your corner rounder because if you look at a band-aid you know it's not square like that usually. Take your rounder corner. The best thing when you use your rounder corner look in the back and make sure you're centered there and you're right in. This one it's kind of tricky because you know you don't have much uh, guidance there. Make sure you're straight Look in this back. So cut your four uh, back there. Make sure that they're rounded. It look better, I think, when they're rounded. Oh, this one I kind of went off here. Let me. Here we go. Voila. So now I get my band-aid, it's rounded. Now I'm going to take my one inch square. You can cut square if you want one inch, but I get the punch, why not using it? I'm going to punch this out. And we're going to put that on top of the polka dot. But before we put it on top of polka dot, I'm going to use tone on tone. I'm going to use crumb cake. And I'm going to sponge a bit of this here. Just to give a little bit more dimension. Here we go. So let's glue this on top. When you glue um, embossing on top of embossing, put plenty of glue. If not, it will not stay. Voila! This is it, my friend, how simple it is to make your own band-aid. So, hope you learned a little tips and tricks. Until next time, happy stamping.